friends. My friends, welcome back. It's your man Tactical. Back with another axe. Today, a real axe. This is the Wetterlings Backcountry Axe. Comes with a nice leather sheath. And this one actually fits. I hear a lot of people say they like the Condor one better because it looks better finished, but at least this one fits. My Condor didn't even fit right. I had to wrap it around there, which was stupid. But there you go, there's your sheath. Oh, look at this. This is very nice. Hand forged in Sweden. Look at that beautiful handle. That is a hickory handle. You see the grain is pretty straight, uniform, lanyard hole. Now I've treated this handle, I think seven times, with boiled linseed oil before I'm even gonna try it. So I wanted to protect it thoroughly. Here's the head of the ax, that's a pound and a half head. Now I couldn't find the weight on the ax itself. I'm guessing two and a quarter. Because this can't be much more than like max a pound, if that, and that's a pound and a half, so something like that. Now the technical specs on this thing, overall length, 19 and a half inches. The blade length is a three inch. Retail is usually around 125 bucks, but you can get them a little cheaper, 110, 105. I think I got this for 110. There's your stamp right there. Yes, beautifully well done. Very nice. One weird thing, there's no kind of, you got your wooden wedge, but whatever that metal one's called, it's either a circle or it's, you know, you got one or two of them, it doesn't have one. So I was like, oh, I don't know. But these are supposed to be really awesome. And by the looks and feel, it is freaking awesome. Good shape to the handle, good curve, a little bit of a, I'm not sure what you call that. We'll call it a palm swell, what the hell. We use knife terms, because I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it fits really well. And carrying this in, so far, this is the best ax for carrying. You know, it's not too big, it's not too small, 19 and a half inch, very light. Uh, here's your shape of the head. So it's kind of in the middle of a good splitter or a good chopper, which is cool, because then it makes it do pretty much everything. So for early predictions, I'm thinking this is going to do really well. It is pretty freaking sharp. Uh, probably the sharpest axe I've ever bought out of the box, besides my Grandford Brooks Small Forest and Scandinavian axe, which, which will be coming up soon. Let's try this out. I think this is going to kick a lot of arse. Oh, I can tell already. Oh, yeah. Wow. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. A sharp axe. That's nice. It's nice to have a sharp axe for once. So a lot of times they're just, you know, it's like a utility edge. Whatever. Give me a freaking blade, man. Give me something sharp. Yeah, it's not as sharp as the Brands Fort Brooks, but it's it's pretty darn close. Nice. Now before I even test this beautiful axe, you know me. I occasionally do my overstrikes, so I'm gonna protect the handle first. Now you guys have seen the video uh wrapping paracord around your axe protect it you can also use a ranger band you can either do it one or two ways either just keep it whole and slide it on or I'm, I just cut it and then I'm gonna use some uh, electrical tape on it just to protect it so I don't want to screw up my pretty handle so I'm just gonna wrap it like that and I got some electric electrical tape and I'll just wrap her up okay we'll try this out on some splitting this is a small piece that's about a three three and a half inch piece Problemo. This one's got some knots in the bottom. Here, let me adjust the camera a little bit. Wow, like nothing. Yeah, I thought this was going to split kind of good. Just that geometry of the head. Going to be a good splitter. A little bit of overswingage. Damn it. That's exactly why I protected that handle. Okay, we gotta try something a little bit bigger. This is about four and a half 
five inch piece. About five inch. Something more substantial. Wow. <laughs> like freaking nothing. I mean, like no effort. And I'm only doing like a half a swing, you know? Just enough to pop it like that. Bang. Not doing like a full. Because this thing is sharp. So I don't need to swing it that hard on a piece that's only like five inch. Wow, nothing. I guess it's time to stop pussyfooting around. Got a really nasty, gnarly, tons of fucking knots right there. So this would be more of a challenge. There we go. Almost did it. Like I said, tons of knots all the way around. You know what, we're gonna go at the same spot. Screw it. Oh yeah. Whoopsie, <laughs> I was just gonna show you up close, but yeah. But, you know, it's just about to go. I'll give it up. I could split it with my hands, but, wow, actually I should, because look, it is all the way. Here we go, screw it. Oh, check out those knots. So funky. <laughs> Round two, mother beep. I could probably pound it, but this base is so small, it'll just freaking fall over on me. Die, bitch. Die. Ooh, this is a tough mother beep. As you can see, going right at the knots. Okay, I just flipped it over, and we're going to finish her off. I did pick a tough piece, but there you go. Well, let's see how it delims. Biting right in, too. <clears throat> Real good, actually. Next we'll do the 10 chop test. This was from uh, the Condor uh, Woodworker Axe. And this was for, from the Cold Steel Trail Boss. So I'll try to be accurate and put it right in the middle. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Man, that did fucking better than the the trail boss. And that's like a 23 inch. Look at that fucker. So here's a close up of the damage. Man, very freaking impressive. A 19 and a half inch did that. Here's where what a 23 inch did. That was uh, the cold steel. Damn, man. And that's what the condor did. Holy shit. That is impressive. So there you go. The Wetterling's Backcountry Axe. What did I think of that? Fucking aw oh yeah. Dude, this thing is a sweet little axe. For the size, it hits way bigger than it is. It really does. And thank you God I didn't hurt that when I did a little overstrike. I would have been pissed at myself. I was ready to kick my own ass if I screwed this up. Because I like this. <laughs> I know I can replace the handle, but man, it's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Now I got cleaner up. It's got some crap on it. But anyways, this thing did fucking awesome. Like for its size and its job, one to ten. Uh, man. I got a. I don't know, man. I, it's got to be like a nine and a half, man. I fucking love this thing, or at least a nine and a quarter. This thing kicked a lot of ass. For the size, I mean, it's sharp, it's strong, it's beautiful. Kind of like your man. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, dude, I love this thing. So obviously, I totally recommend it. And this thing is sick. Thanks for stopping by, checking out the vid, and until the next time we meet.